a dedicated, committed, efficient local builder <laughs> who will get your house built on time, on budget, at a substantial discount if you're a subscriber. <laughs> What's happening? Let's go build with Jeff. <laughs> Jeff's up on site digging. He is keen. It's raining. Does he not know that builders melt in the rain? It's, big hole. it's a Friday morning. We've got a monthly update out. Let's grab a coffee, go see Jeff, catch up on his build. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't forced. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff is actually my very first subscriber and now we have the privilege of following Jeff along on his new build journey, seeing his house start to finish. As well as following the building process, we'll unpack some ideas about why Jeff chose to build new when it was something he wasn't even thinking about a year ago. Let's go and get a coffee. Just another glorious wet day here in Upper Hutt. Jeff was not originally looking to build. He's got a family home just around the corner and he's very happy there. So that's an old 60s house, traditional weatherboard. So when I first suggested the idea of Jeff building up in Akataro, he kind of laughed it off. But the more he thought about it, and the more he thought about where his family was going, and where the market was going, the more it made sense for Jeff to build new. We'll unpack that a bit more once we get to the coffee shop. Mask on, mask off. I always put this upside down. This is so I don't feel like a robber. I feel like a robber with this mask on. <laughs> Should we still see if they still do a good coffee? Yep, man, these guys do a good coffee. <laughs> so let's go and see Jeff, eh? What is he up to? <laughs> Digging a hole in that nice new lawn we made for him. I think he's searching for green gold. I got him some like motivational boost. Coffee. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Why are we digging in the rain? Well, I've got no other days to do it. So today's the day, and I'm digging a trampoline hole. So we can bury it. So in-ground trampoline. That's the one, the kids. Yep. It. So what we're keen to do is start making, building Jeff's rural dream home. Yeah. Like season two of the vlog. Yeah. Like Josh and Katie, the section nobody wanted was like season one. Yeah, I gotcha. You know, the house Jeff's in now is awesome, and where he is is great, but where would he be ideally if he could? I think Jeff had never thought that building new was a possibility for him, as that noise is going to be an issue. Sorry, just turning around for um, annoying background noise. Now we've got the road. <laughs> there is, there's no perfect noise. Let's stand here. The thing is right now, the price of an old house and the price of a brand new house are very similar. And so what Jeff and I talked about is if at some stage in the near future he is thinking of moving on, it would make sense for him to grab this piece of land, which is in an epic spot, amazing outlook, huge backyard, and for about the same price as a house on the market right now, he could build his semi-rural, kind of off the grid, dream home. Jeff's had to put up these electric fences because he's, get, he's got wild animals coming in from the bush area behind us literally eating all his fresh hedges and plants so I think on the first day he did all the planting he lost like six brand new plants it seems like a bit of a losing battle but it looks like he's on top of it now I'm not too much of a wish to touch it myself what we'll do while we're here is we'll take this back to the office um, it's amazing when Josh told me how much, um, how many skips they do on the average building site. Um, you just wouldn't think of that. But... 
I'll just look at the list to make sure we're covering everything we need to tell you all about this video and why you should build new. While I'm looking at the list, why don't you go ahead and click the subscribe button and let's get back to on-site Josh. Hey, so we're on Jeff's rural dream home. We're gonna make a playlist specifically just for this build so you can follow Jeff's dream home build start to finish. So from concepts all the way through to handover and having a beer in the spa down the bottom with Jeff, house finished. done tank water so that'll be a new thing. Had to uh, influence a few of our decisions like when we're shopping for a um, washing machine and dishwasher and you know shower heads and all that kind of stuff trying to think about uh, the water usage of each one. Everyone assures me that that's enough water in those two tanks so hopefully they're right. I mean, ultimately we knew that um, trees are going to take a while to grow, so we wanted to get them done early. The, um, the hedging will take longer to go up than the house will, so we planted that six to nine months ago now, um, just to, around the perimeter. And we've been working to try and get the grass, you know, the same level. We kind of want the house to flow same level onto the deck then onto the grass. So that means that the finished floor inside and the deck are level but we're adding a third element, level entry lawn. So <laughs> the whole thing will be fine, <clears throat> So the kids can literally run from their room straight to the tramp and, and jump. Then, and then run the mud straight back inside. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did COVID kind of influence your decision to like buy and start building? I suppose in, yes, a little bit um, because we're stuck here in the country for a bit so we were actually traveling when the first um, lockdown hit we were over in Europe and had to do the whole various quarantines in a few spots around the world to get home and so we would have planned on continuing to do that um, probably over the next couple of years but uh, that option is off the table um, or it appears to be. Because you weren't here. even planning to build eh? Nah. Well, like it wasn't like oh we, like some people it's like their goal is like we want to build as soon as we can Whereas this kind of like snuck up on you in a way, eh? Yeah, correct. I mean, it's always been like an idea um, to do it one day because Luke was um, had bought a had bought a section and was planning on building up here as well. And so we talked you into it. Talked me into it, and then Luke bailed. <laughs> <laughs> it was oh, the plan all along. The plan all along, yeah. <laughs> How do we get Jeff up here? Yeah. And we're off. And we're off. It's almost beer o'clock. And it's glasses time. Glasses of beer? <laughs> beer. <laughs> glasses of beer. <laughs> I think that reminds me of my house on the section nobody wanted. Before I built that house, I'd done 30 new homes for other clients, but we'd never done our own home. Building a new home can seem like this big, daunting, stressful process. I get that. We took on the section nobody wanted, like an impossible site that had been on the market for 15 years. And we built a home, and we love it. And so if we can do that on the section nobody wanted, you can do it too. And the way to break down the stress is into little bite-sized chunks. Just go and have a meeting with the designer and see what a design on the site could look like and then start costing it out and have a chat to the bank and you know don't worry about the overall thing and everything that's going to go wrong because if you find the right piece of land and you do the right design and you work to a budget and you get the right builder on there you take this big impossible thing and you break it down into little achievable steps.
That's an epic video you're watching. <laughs> At the end of the day, building is not for everyone. I get it. And it also depends on the phase of life you're in and kind of like your other life goals. 